guys, welcome to today's lesson. My name is Srinidhi. I'm an educator on an academy. I teach English grammar on this platform. You guys can follow me on an academy by downloading the An Academy Learning app on your phone and kindly check out the YouTube channel as well. So in today's lesson, just like previous lessons, we're going to learn a few difficult words from the Hindu newspaper along with its meaning and its usage. So let's get started. Hey guys, this is the ninth lesson under the course Daily Hindu Analysis. So just like previous lessons, we will be learning quite a few words even in this one. This, These are the words from yesterday's newspaper, which is 7th of March 2018. Okay, so here we go with today's set of words. The first one is quell, which is a verb, means to put an end to a rebellion or other disorder typically by use of force. Rebellion is a protest. So people who protest or if I go against the rules, I rebel. Okay, that means I don't um, accept whatever is given to me. Okay, so for example, his promises were seen by critics as just a medium to quell public anger. Okay, that means his promises create a lot of unrest. I'm sorry, his, prom his promises were made only to bring down the public anger. Okay, next one. Veta. Veta is a verb which means to make careful and critical examination of something. So when you carefully examine something, it means you're vetting something. Okay. For example, the raw data will be sent to defense ministry for, for vetting. That means for, uh, you know, in-depth examination of something. The verb we use is veta. All right. Next one, lucrative. Lucrative is an adjective. That means it can be used in a sentence only to describe a noun. Lucrative means producing a great deal of profit. For example, over the years, online businesses have been more, I'm sorry, have been the most lucrative jobs. That means these are the jobs that fetch a lot of money. So any job that gives you a good deal of profit or that makes enough profit is called a lucrative job. Okay, next one. Procurement is a noun. Procurement means the process which is involved in order to obtain something or procure is the verb to procure. All right. The process that you undergo in order to obtain something or procure something or get something is called procurement. Procurement is a noun. Procure is the verb. Okay. For example, actions have been initiated for the procurement of suitable pump sets. Procurement of suitable pump sets means for, in the, uh, for obtaining suitable pump sets or for uh, getting suitable pump sets. Next word is errant. Errant is an adjective that means it is used to describe a noun. So in this case, when you describe someone um, as errant, that means that, that person's actions are considered unacceptable by you. Okay, so when you consider someone's actions unacceptable, you describe them as errant. Uh, or another meaning for it is stay, uh, staying away from the right course or the accepted standards. So when someone goes, uh, when someone someone deviates their path onto the wrong course, we call them as errant. For example, he was committed to protect his errant son. So in spite of his son being errant that means his uh, actions of his son are considered to be unacceptable or his son has um, you know deviated himself from the right course but yet he is committed to protect him uh, synonyms for errant could be straying or wayward that means deviating your path next word is searing searing is an adjective that means extremely hot or intense heat okay Example, the searing heat of the sun. That means the sun's heat is unbearable. It is extremely hot. So those kind of, um, I mean, that is described as searing. It's an adjective. It describes a noun in the sentence. Okay. Next one. Ultimatum. Ultimatum is a noun, which means a final demand or statement of terms. So the uh, final demand in the sense, there is no more negotiation. It's final. The word is set. You cannot negotiate. And statement of terms is you give a statement, uh, you know, dictating all the terms and conditions according to you. So that's called an ultimatum. For example, their employers issued an ultimatum 
asking an immediate return to work here ultimatum is the giving a final demand that there is no more negotiation you better come to work asking an immediate return to work all right next one bastion is a noun so bastion means an institution place or person who strong uh, strongly maintaining particular principles attitude or activities a place institution or a person who has a strong attitude or particular principles and who maintains them for example i'm sorry synonyms uh, i'll give you first so synonyms are strong hold on something or a person or an institution that supports something so we call that as a bastion for example the gym seems to be the final bastion in the area that stands up for a healthy lifestyle so gym is the only place or an institution in this case which is upholding the uh, upholding and maintaining a set of principles that will lead uh, that will make or that will help people lead a healthy life okay so hence gym here is referred to as a bastion the next word is real politic please pay attention to the word politic it's not c i uh, t i c at the end it is t i k so real politic means uh, again it's a noun which means a system of politics or principles based on practical thoughts rather than moral or ideological considerations so whatever uh, principles uh, uh, are based i mean uh, whatever principles they have are based on practical considerations and not on moral or ideological consideration that means you think practically and not from your heart okay it's not moral it could be illegal it could be immoral but then it's practical so those kind of principles or policies are called as real politic okay for example commercial real politic had won the day that means commercialism uh could be immoral sometimes there are few trades and few act few activities which are illegal but then when you come to think of it they are also practical sometimes so those kind of activities or principles are referred to as real politic okay please pay attention to the spelling and it is not two different words real politic it's one word and politic ends with a k and not a c so last word for the day is ploy which again is a noun that means a cunning plan or an action designed to turn a situation to one's own advantage that means you cunningly uh, turn the tables around that means you cunningly take advantage of the situation that you're in that is a ploy okay for example partition was a british ploy to which indian leaders scummed so partition was a british ploy means it was a cunning plan by the britishers to which indian leaders scummed scummed in the sense they gave in they fell for it so uh, scummed also has another meaning so for example he scummed to death that means he um, he died because of his injuries all right so uh, synonyms is tactic tricks all right so ploy again is a cunning plan so that which you use to make the situation to turn the situation into your advantage okay real politic is a system of politics where the principles or policies are based on realistic thoughts and not moral or ideological consideration okay bastion is an institution or a place which upholds and maintains a set of policies or um, activities or attitude ultimatum is a final demand or a statement searing is something that is extremely hot or intense errant is an adjective you describe someone as errant when you don't approve of their behavior or when you think that they've deviated themselves from the right path that means they're going into the wrong path then you describe that person as errant procurement is a process that is involved in procuring something or obtaining something procurement is a noun and procure is the verb lucrative is an adjective that means a job that gives you uh, you know uh, a good amount of profit better is a verb that means where, uh, to to make careful examination or critical examination of something 
quell is to put an end to a rebellion using force okay so these are the sets of uh, set of words for today i hope you guys understood if you have any doubt or if you have any questions at all please post it on the comment section i'll see you guys in another lesson with another set of verbs until then bye bye